NASA is taking a shot at answering an old question this morning. Is there water on the moon? Many scientists think there is, frozen under the dry lunar surface. CBS News correspondent Whit Johnson is in Washington this morning with more. Whit, good morning. Hi, Russ. Good morning. Yeah, scientists around the world asking this question. They've been asking it for years. Is there water on the moon? If so, it could open countless doors in the world of science and exploration. The moon is about to get clobbered in the name of science. A rocket traveling 5,600 miles per hour will slam into it this morning to see if water exists on the lunar surface. It's a big deal indeed, and this is a heck of a way to go find out. Liftoff of the Atlas V rocket. Launched in June, the $79 million Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite, or LCROSS, will crash in two phases. First, a rocket will smash into the moon and send up a massive plume of lunar dust. Behind that rocket will be the satellite. It will fly through the debris looking for ice and beam back live pictures to Earth before taking its own fatal plunge. This is a case where you're going to take what amounts to an SUV and crash it into the surface at uh, two or three times the speed of a rifle bullet. The impact site is the moon's south pole. The discovery of water here is not only significant for the exploration of the moon itself, but the entire solar system. Water is a basic construct for human life, and having it already there uh, would be a huge opportunity for more permanent occupation of the moon. It could be days before NASA knows whether water is hiding on the moon's surface or not. Either way, scientists around the country believe this is a win-win experiment. You always find surprises, and that's one of the totally exciting things about this mission. But for anyone concerned about possible damage to the moon, experts say don't worry. The lunar surface gets pelted with huge space rocks almost once a week. This hit just happens to be on purpose. Of course, observation parties are being held around the world. And if you have a telescope that's longer than 10 inches, you won't be able to see the impact itself. But if you're lucky, you might be able to see some of that lunar dust flying into outer space. Russ. Fascinating stuff. Whit Johnson, Washington. Thank you very much.